At the risk of way overdoing it, I did find another interesting write-up medical study on substance P, obesity, and gut inflammation. This is a 2009 study. And what caught my eye about it is that typically fibromyalgia patients will can have irritable bowel syndrome and they're, you know, so that's the tie-in. Uh, this, in another video I made, and I'll provide the link, uh, it was established that in order for the neurological aspect of the body to work properly, IGF-1 had to be up to snuff. The neural part is dependent on enough IGF-1, and that is made uh, when you have adequate supply of growth hormone. And substance P is one of those neurotransmitters. Okay, the purpose of this review is to present recent data of the effects of substance P on the development of two common pathological conditions, namely obesity and gut inflammation. They talk about the neuropeptide uh, regulation and there is an increased adiposity, and that means body fat, an exacerbated worsening inflammatory response during inflammatory, inflammatory bowel disease. And the summary states, we propose that substance P may promote fat tissue expansion either centrally or peripherally and thus create a pro-inflammatory envi environment as in the case with obesity which in turn can affect a progression or worsening of gut inflammation. And again, I, I bring this up because fibromyalgia, uh, you know, it, it's documented that there's a higher substance P. Typically a fibromyalgia patient on average gains 32 pounds. Uh, we talked about the IGF-1 um, but I do want to mention, too, that body fat is a part of the endocrine system. You know, your weight in general is governed by the endocrine system. And they, they're talking, um, um, for, I want to give one example where body fat is actually serves as part of your endocrine system. And here's the big example. You go out in the sun and you soak it up and you gain vitamin D. Well, that whole process is actually taking place in the thin layer of fat that's in your arms, for example. The more dangerous fat we probably all know by now is the visceral fat, the belly fat. And um, so, I mean, if... Uh, this is a possibility could be causing inflammation and again i bring this up because of the weight gain issues with fibromyalgia and different endocrine conditions such as low growth hormone high cortisol and low thyroid although i'm not sure if of any of the connections, but it's interesting.